What are earthquakes useful for? Well, despite the death and destruction they cause on the Earth's surface, they have helped us figure out that the Earth has a core. Using measurements from all around the world, scientists could tell that something was stopping the shock waves produced by a big earthquake from travelling straight through the Earth from one side to the other. So, although we have never been more than 11 kilometres below the Earth's surface, the measurements showed that the inside of the Earth was divided up into different spheres. The crust, the bit we live on, is about 70 kilometres deep at its thickest. Then there is a very thick layer called the mantle. This is under high pressure and is very hot, so the rock flows like a very sticky liquid. The mantle is up to 2,900 kilometres thick. Then there is the core, actually the inner core, which is solid, and then between the inner core and the mantle, the outer core. The inner core is a ball that's a bit smaller than the moon. It is made of solid iron and nickel and it is very hot. Scientists estimate it is as hot as the surface of the sun, maybe a bit hotter. Probably the whole core used to be liquid once, but the inner core is the part of the core that has cooled down to a solid over the billions of years since the Earth was formed. That would mean the inner core must be slowly expanding as the outer core cools down too. The outer core is not solid like the inner core, but liquid. It is about 2,200 kilometres thick and lies between the mantle and the inner core. It is also extremely hot, over 6,000 degrees centigrade near the inner core. As the Earth spins, the inner core and the outer core move at different speeds because one is solid and one is more liquid and this results in eddies forming within the outer core. This produces a massive magnetic field that surrounds the Earth and protects it. If it wasn't for this magnetic field, the Earth's atmosphere would get stripped away by the solar wind. Scientists suspect that this is what happened to Mars. Its core cooled down, stopped generating a magnetic field, and the planet gradually lost its atmosphere. The crust is a very thin layer and is made up of sections called plates. These plates are very slowly moving because of interactions between the mantle and the crust. Beneath the crust, the top layer of the mantle is also solid and together the crust and this solid layer are known as the lithosphere from the Greek for rocky, lithos. The next layer of the mantle is called the asthenosphere from the Greek for weak, asthenes. The asthenosphere is liquid and flows, rather than being solid and rigid, like the lithosphere. There are enormous convection cells in the asthenosphere, which slowly circle round and round. The rigid plates sitting on top of the asthenosphere move along with it too. When the movement of these convection cells mean that plates are forced against each other, earthquakes result from the huge pressures involved.